Well, some big progress has been made. It looks like it. <laughs> We're actually uh, driving trains in and out of the garage now. This is, uh, well, this is really impressive. Coasting downhill now. I hope it doesn't coast down really fast. That could be a problem. Nice and easy. It's been quite a process getting to this point. And uh, actually, it's been kind of scary, too. Yeah, just a little bit. You start cutting holes in places. It's like... <laughs> Well, and you know, the idea of measuring twice and cutting once, this has been measuring yeah, 60 times well, so and cutting know. once. So just to recap what we've already shown, uh, this summer we've been working on the bench work out here, the extension of the bench work. And uh, this was actually just a few weeks ago, but right. we were at this point. Right. And then we got the top on here and I built the ramp that will go up into the garage because the garage is at a different elevation than the outside. And so there's a slight grade going uphill here, but I can't, I can't permanently install the ramp yet until the hole is cut in the cinder block. No, right and there. that's the scary part. That's the scary part, but I didn't know where to put the hole until I built the ramp. So I built the ramp and now I've taken the ramp apart. <laughs> And now, oh my goodness, we're ready to actually cut the hole. Now, of course, we're not going to cut the hole ourselves. Oh, heavens uh, no. No, so we weird. hired Walsh Concrete Cutting, these guys here, and they bring in their, their saw. It's a really interesting saw. Notice there's no hub in the middle. No. And it was like, well, how in the world does that work? Yeah. Well, the whole thing is just kind of mounted to that inner plate. That way they can cut directly through the cinder block all the way through uh, without the hub hitting the wall. Well, that's cool. It's very clever. Uh, the guy here was saying twice the blade has come completely out, and so therefore stand back. Yes. <laughs> so I stood way back because I, uh, yeah. I didn't want to get hit by a flying blade if it came yeah, out of there. About a can opener. So I had measured the hole and then uh, measured it from the inside and then drilled some pilot holes here to get a sense of where the hole would be on the outside and only missed it by about half an inch. That's not too bad though. <laughs> but you know, no matter how much you measure, uh, in this case, it's really hard to get the pilot holes through there perfectly square. And so they came in in a, in a ever so slightly different place. This required a good deal of masking everything off because uh, the blade itself is immersed in water and then they spray water on the cut with a hose as well. So there's gooey cement laden water going all over the place, including in, in this particular case inside the building. Oh, yes. So that we mask that whole area off with visqueen and everything to try to keep the mess down. Uh, as as much as humanly possible. I was really surprised how easily the blade goes right through the cinder that block. That is just crazy, right, man. And that first cut hit rebar and everything. Oh! So, and it didn't slow it down. Uh, he was saying, oh, we're hitting rebar. I said, how can you tell? And he said, I can tell from the noise. And it's like, well, I'm not hearing much noise here either. It's really quiet and really, really fast and really, really efficient. Then, of course, there are the horizontal cuts. Now, all of the cuts had to go out past the hole because in order to get the blade to go completely through the wall, you have to overcut it. So it puts these rather large overcuts into the wall past where the actual hole is. So uh, we're, we're going to have that to deal with as we build the tunnel portal. Right. But I think, I think that that's really no problem. I think they can be filled in pretty easy. Yeah, because we're going to cover this whole thing with a tunnel portal anyway, so right. uh, what difference does it make? Anyway, there it is. It's all cut through, and now it's just a matter of sort of encouraging the blocks to come out of the hole. Wow. Uh, from the outside, that was a bit of a problem, but by going to the inside, it was a matter of just shoving them oh, through, and, wow. and there it is. There's the hole. <laughs> 
I was I was really concerned too. What if the whole you know garage falls down? They oh. said no. No, that's not going to happen. There's the rebar that yes. we were cutting into. Well, I'm glad there's rebar. That means the garage was built good and solid. Yeah. We missed the. Uh, we missed the spot by about a half an inch, which I guess makes a good deal of sense. Uh, no matter how much you measure and how much you prefigure, things end up in a slightly different spot, but not in any way that was going to create a problem. So anyway, now it's just a matter of cleaning up the considerable mess and uh, building the ramp for real. Right. And it's all cut out and built. It's just uh, now I've got to put it together for real and then bring it through the opening here and then lay track. But there's the hole. There it is. And uh, a lot of sleepless nights thinking about this and going, is this really going to, is this smart? Is this a wise idea? Is this a wise <laughs> idea? And uh, well, uh, we're pretty much committed to it at this point. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You reach that point where you have to say, well, there's no turning back now. No, not even for that train. It's detrimental. It's detrimental. Anyway, for the first time in the history of the railroad, we were able to pull a train up inside the garage and park it for the night. There you go. And that was a major accomplishment. One thing about this, it seems like every time we hit a major milestone like this, and I look at it and I go, wow, that's done. And now there's so much more to do. I can see <laughs> it from here. But it's at least it's it's forward progress. It's just so you get mono focused on, oh, boy, we're going to have the hole cut and then we're going to pull a train inside. And then it's like, pull it inside to where? Y well, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now we have to finish the bench work inside the garage. Anyway, all different things to consider. We have a lot of things to do, wiring to do, hookup to do, track delay, bench work to build. There's always going to be something. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but the, the joy is just coming out here now on a warm summer evening and running some trains and at the end of the day to be able to just pull the locomotive up inside the garage yep. and park it. Won't that be nice? That's so much better than hauling everything inside and oh, outside. yeah, right. Well, if you uh, haven't been over to the channel and if you're not a subscriber or a member, you can get over there by clicking on the upcoming blue button. Right there. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring, and we will see you here on Sunday. We'll see you then. See ya. Bye-bye.